Um, so Let's you're up against that. who? Nami, Nami Varus? So she sees that. Yeah. My auto cancel. Um, pretty what similar. You're, you're just leashing here. It's okay if they see you. Uh, pretty similar lane, I think, to the last one that we reviewed. In the sense that, like, shouldn't be too exciting early on, to be honest. Um, but, like, if you find an angle, they are really immobile, so you should be able to, to go on them. You're, you're good to just walk the lane here. If they poke you, it is what it is, but you don't want to be late. Magic is the later you get the lane, the the less ma like, management you have on it. Ecstasy means a little fear. I think you could probably start uh, Q level 1 here. Because Nami's going to probably be looking to poke. Varus is going to be looking to poke. We're not looking to, like, go in with W, so just that sustain is going to be nice. There you go. You could try to use Relic here to hit level 2 at the same time as them. Be careful going in, though, because you don't have E. One more. Good stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Let's push this ward, uh, push this in and get a, a ward on Tribush, since we're pushing up and playing so aggressive early on. You never know. Good job pinging as well, because we want to we wanna let our ADC know to play safe. Alright. I'm gonna step up. How is that even possible? I, I like your positioning uh, on the wave too. You're playing far forward so you can hit those cues. That's really good stuff. Be patient, be patient. The opportunities will present themselves. I'm gonna push I'm gonna say push this. Yep, yep. Here. I don't need to understand the plan. I trust you. Yeah, that's okay. Let's get a recall. Now, I hate to be that guy to say I was thinking it when I didn't actually say it, but they have been playing really far back, and then they did walk up randomly, right? So we kind yeah. of could have assumed that Hecarim was there. To be honest, I didn't think he'd be coming through lane. I thought he might have been coming from behind you guys, so I'm happy he actually yeah. came through lane. But keep that in mind, right? They, they've been playing really far back. Um, and, and so they walk forward. That, that should tell us something. Um, also, uh, when I was telling you in the last session, we don't always want to look in to go in if we don't have our E. Uh, because it's hard to get out. We were able to do it at level 2 for the all-in. I'll, I'll shut up so you can focus here. I don't have E. Yeah, you're good. Just go back to lane. Yeah. We were able to all in at level two because we had the level level two power spike. But then you went in for another W before you hit level three, which didn't work out because we took the tower shot and because we don't have our E to get back out, we're we're vulnerable there, right? So it's okay to look at level two, but try to be patient. Other than that, if you don't have your E, yeah, let this push. That's good. I'm gonna try and not talk as much and just listen. Is that cool? That, yeah, that's fine. Only talk if you feel the need to. And feel free to let me know to shut up if you need me to as well. Like that last fight, that was potentially going to break out. Mm. It waves really big here, so we don't want to fight in the waves. We could try to thin it out a little bit here. Just focus on helping last hit here. I don't think we need to hold this. It's okay to let it crash. We'll take a lot of damage from minions here. Uh, she is missing, but there's no one mid. I, I don't really see anywhere that she could be going. We could we could do a little bit of limit testing here soon, by the way. You have Ignite, and just remember, like, we could look for something, and if it doesn't go our way, we have our E to get back out. Not not in front of the wave, though, too much, though. It's okay to just zone them off. Like, playing that far up is good, but just know, if you're that far up, I, then your Jinx is still behind. Before. Just know, if you're that far up, the Jinx won't be able to follow up. Hecarim's top. Mm. Oh, this is fine. i take this all day. I don't really know where their Nami is. We can we can look for a little bit here. The Nami might be by herself. Totally forgot. Just zone her off from XP. And then let's probably hard shove this next one though. Let's give him this fat wave. Uh, under the tower and make them struggle to see us with it. 
And honestly, not a whole lot of gold here, but let's just recall anyways, because it's a good recall timer. And that wave is so big that they shouldn't be able to freeze it. If they do, they're going to take a bunch of damage. We're fine with that. Also, people freezing waves this early into the game, it's easy to break. I think that's fine. Let's take a look towards mid here, maybe. We'll drop our control ward in that river. And then remember, we're going to try to get a trinket ward um, on the opposite side of the control ward. Right over here. Yeah, in, in that bush on the other side of uh, their red. And then we'll just drop that. I don't see anything mid, so we'll drop that and we will... Uh, yeah, you have some backup coming. You can look. That's fine. Just waiting. No worries, no worries. We can head back bot. Unless she has something. Jumped one. Kill the Nami if you can. Uh, Varus is rotating first, though. I think that's fine. Let's just go back bot, maybe. There's six already? Yeah. yeah. No worries there. No harm. Let's go help Jinx. Uh, that seems winnable. They're pretty low if Belveth comes around. Uh, can you guys do Dragon here? Hecarim was really low, right? Maybe even drop a ward and Tribush on the way out. I think we could have. It might be a little too late now. Recall? Uh, maybe try to help push this wave in if you can. I don't do safe. Now they want to start dragging. I think you can still commit to this. Uh, I would have liked that you guys have done it earlier, but it's okay. I, I think with this wave pushed in, you should be able to get it. And then I'm ideally recall, recall after. Oops. Yeah. Okay, very nice job. I'm gonna start it now. I don't see anyone moving. I could try yeah. and look mid, but I don't no, wanna, no, no. I wanna... Let, let's get the recall here, I think. That's fine. And then we'll just upgrade that to a Kindle gem, and then we'll grab the control ward. So, yeah, I, I like Dragon there after the uh, Hecarim ganked bot, and it wasn't a successful gank, and then he had the recall, oh, right? <laughs> we were able to, to push, though, and rotate. I wish we would have done it there. Also, I, I just wish that your ADC would have recalled with you. There's not a whole lot you could do about it because she stuck around in lane by herself. It All right, what, what do it I is. do now here? Is this we, thing? we can just like just hover mid. Yeah, just just try to like hover mid, get some vision in their jungle, maybe. Woo, I am so Actually, let's let's go rift. Look rift. What is this? Big. Is it over? You can look. Yep. All good, all good. At least you're there, just in case. Let's head back bot now. Um, looks like Belveth is going to want to uh, get rift at, at an early point, some point this game. Oh. So we'll keep an eye on that to see if we can get a good roam timer and go up there. Uh, Nami just did something here. Probably just, just a just... plant. But um, this isn't a trustworthy ADC, right? There's some ADCs that you can leave by themselves and, and trust them to not die. This is not one of those. Rift is gone. Let's push this in. We're roaming a lot, which is fine, but we also need to try to hit six because we'll be a lot more effective roaming if we can hit six. Okay, careful because Tribush is missing right now. Uh, apparently, Varus has no flash as well. Jinx picking that earlier. I think we're good for now. Nami's mid. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You can stick around. He's fine mid as well. Can I look for something? Uh, I don't know where Hecarim is, and Nami could also be rotating. You maybe could, but I just, it, it's risky. And Varus has ulti too, if you get CC'd under tower. Uh, in situations like this, see how you're just like backing up and you're not actually doing anything back here? What you could do when you back up is just try to stay in that like closest bush to their enemy tower. That way, you're still, like, relevant in a way, and you can look for something if they were to overextend. You, you can look. You can look. Yeah, yeah, let's look. Let's look. Go for it. 
Nice try, that's fine. And out we go. Perfectly Sun. fine, perfectly Fight's fine. Over. Fight's over. Yep, uh, we, can, we can push one more. Yeah, he yeah, healed it. Good. Okay, you are really, really weak. So we want to try to provide some Talon, more support. Talon, 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 we don't Talon. need to stick around. No. We're done. Uh, this is so bad. I don't like this. All right, fine. I'll take it. Yeah, just play slow. Try to stick back. You don't have to be the one to go in unless it's easy. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm out. Yeah, I just, just recall that there's absolutely nothing you can do at this point. I'm lucky that I live that. Not bad. Uh, let's get boots here. Yeah, I like that. Let's upgrade our uh, trinket to sweeper. Love that. Uh, next focus is going to be uh, this dragon. And you're off tempo a little bit with your jinx here. So let's look to get vision uh, again around dragon, maybe a little bit into their jungle here. If it don't get out of control, again, it's it's okay to leave your ADC at times. Um, we just have to trust that they're going to be smart uh, and not get themselves killed. So right now we're off tempo a little bit. She didn't recall once again for some reason, which is kind of a bummer. I've been kicked around. I was. Um, it's all right. Yeah, I don't know it's why she didn't okay. recall. I'm alive. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. You have you have Belfast Beth to maybe collapse here. She has no flash, no flash. Jump, jump to him first, maybe. Nice try, nice try. Okay, let's just help push out this wave uh, so Jinx can recall. Because we want to fight this dragon, but Jinx needs to recall really bad. Going back Background in front of is me. top. Yeah, it's camping the wrong. I think Jinx is sitting on a bunch of gold, right? Maybe he just wants that one plate. He's being super greedy right now, though. I mean, he's still just sitting on the Noon Quiver. Um, one of the things that I was talking about a lot in our first coaching session was, like, not having great tempo. I, like, I was going to say, you could get the Amplifying Tomb there again, just so we could spend a little bit more of our money. Um, but one of the things I was saying is, like, we weren't... Um, like keeping good enough tempo, you're actually doing everything that you can so far. Um, like trying to help push out waves, get good uh, recall timers for your Jinx. She's not the one doing it because she's an ADC player, and ADC players are greedy for, for gold, right? So just continue to do everything that you can. We can hover mid here for a second. I dance because I'm free. Can maybe get a ward over by their wolves in the bush? And then let's go down towards the red and get one down there too if we can. Should I use that scry? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just go bot. Yeah, let's look. Let's look. Just know his ulti stops your W, right? That's the one thing we got to be careful for. Oh, this is fine, I think. Good peel. Just keep autoing. Perfectly fine. He, yeah, if he shows up, he shows up. Varus used flash, so we got that. Uh, let's just... I guess we just recall here. We get that amplifying to him. Unless something breaks out here. Make sure you save one charge of your E to get out here if you need to. Yeah, I don't really love fighting there, but it is what it is. You tried to keep uh, your team alive there. We're giving this dragon... Your top side is losing really hard, unfortunately. Yeah, I I don't know how th I I play in a main gangplank, and I don't know how he loses this matchup. I main this champion, and I don't know how he loses the Mordekaiser matchup. We, to be we, honest, we could run top here, maybe. Try to get that shutdown with the Zero walking up. Okay, he ults a Zero, so you're hoping he survives this ulti, and then you get there in time to help out. Never mind, he just gets it. That's beautiful. But at least you're there, right? You're, you're there just in case. Yeah. And but it doesn't look like you were needed anywhere up. else on the map. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Okay, we're going to have to just, like, play it slow on the map right now for a second. Azir's still coming back on the map. GP's dead. Jinx is about to recall. I look good. I feel good. 
Yeah, Velveth is going to want this Rift Herald, so maybe we can try to get some vision around there. Okay. Ulti? Nice try, nice try. Maybe we can just turn that into a Rift Herald play? And then um, we can move our control ward here. I know you already have one on the map, but if this is going to be where the play is at, let's just get it over here. Jinx is not here. Okay, have a nice try. That's a bummer. Jinx just did not rotate, I guess. All good. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, another control ward here. Yep. She might die mid here now, too. Uh, she gets out? Okay. Oh, wow, he went over the traps. Yeah, we can just run to our Jinx here, try to play around here, get her farmed up. She might be a win con for us this game. Your Zero is pretty strong. Your Jinx has got a couple kills. It's mainly your your, your top and your, your jungle, which are... The problem this game, which as a support, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. I will make them dance. I will make them and then in between waves like that, after we push it out, let's not just like stand in the middle of the lane because we have vision on them. If they have vision of us, we're not a threat anywhere. Whereas if we're standing like here, for example, I want to ward this. Uh, I think you can. But like if we're standing just to the side in between waves and they don't know where we are, we're always a threat. We could be anywhere. I want to look. Um, I don't know where else is on the map. I, I would, I would kind of want to hover top, maybe even. There's no dragon up right now. There's no Rift Herald or Baron up. I want to cover this angle. We also don't have a control word on the map, so we could get one somewhere down at one point in time. It's better to have something down There's than not have Alan. something down. There's just a play being made top right now, so that's the only thing. And we just have to watch out for Hacker being there. We're just chilling. Yeah, I think we're chilling right now, waiting for another 100 gold, waiting for uh, your, your mythic. We have eyes on Hecarim. If he goes in, you just go into peel mode. I think we we have to be a little bit more patient there and like wait for him to like actually commit. Like if he ults or something or actually oh, charges sorry, he's in. He's gotta come out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just, just stay on the map, might as well. No mythic for 50. And so right now we're not looking to do anything because you don't have your ulti. And, and you want to get your mythic and dragons up uh, in a minute. So we're not looking to fight at all. I'm here. You could even like ping your mythic to, to let your team know like, hey, this is up soon. This is what I'm looking to get. Sometimes I like to re I like to uh, ping my recall too, just to let, them know, uh, to let them know like, hey, I am recalling. Or even typing something like, I'm going B, you know? I don't think there's such thing as like over communicating. Uh, and then let's check out your team's build after Jinx buys here. Uh, she's got two items. I mean, you can maybe keep her alive, but Hecarim is, is an issue for sure. They will see me. They will Guess see I'll go this way. It's already done though. He he does have a very squishy Hecarim build. Like he he can one shot people, but he can also get one shot. We don't have a whole lot of follow-up right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. Whoa, I should have eaten to him first. It's all good, it's all good. We only really want to be fighting with our Jinx, and, and she wasn't there yet. I don't I don't think we really want to play too much around our top side right now. They're really weak. Mm. Gotta give this dragon to... If someone oversteps, we could look for something. Actually, ah, oh, yeah, no zero ulti now either. It's tough. Doing his job. Be careful here. We we can like kind of be in the area, but we don't want to full commit because we don't have our team. Alan should die here. We, we can kind of look. Just play with the Jinx. She's actually strong. Flash. 
when you come out of this, just play the fight slowly, see if you could help out at all. Okay, me. Ah, nice try, nice try. Oh, he dies there. That's a good shutdown. Nice. Right. Not bad. Fine. Take it. I, I, I actually think Jinx is a legit win con. I, I know she's only got a couple kills, but... Just keep her alive. Space. Space. Lethal tempo. Good. Nice. Oh, yeah, the speed up. Huge. Oh my god, it's beautiful! I mean, you, you guys scale yeah. like crazy. You guys actually scale so well. Um... You could go Redemption, you could go Zeke's this game. I, I'm not uh, opposed to either. Um, no. Let's grab a control word too. I, I like Zeke's because you don't have a great front line, so it's just going to make you a little bit tankier. So hopefully if you go in, you don't die right away. I like Redemption just because they have a ton of damage themselves. So you want to try to keep your teammates alive, and Redemption's going to help with that. Also, I, I see you're using Trillions to get to the fight here. Another thing to just try to be a little bit more patient with. Uh, Ignite. Beautiful. He's really squishy. Play with your team here. Good stuff. Huge. Play with the team. If he's too fast, he's too fast. It's okay to let him live. Uh, we got two kills. Baron? I mean, you guys do have gates to get Jinx there. But everybody will need to commit. Let, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. If Jinx comes, maybe we could do it. You guys have Azir and Jinx. You guys do it quick. But I don't think Jinx is coming, so this might be a dead play. Yeah, be be patient with the Shrelias. It's better to use it um, in, in the middle of a fight or like right before a fight and get the maximum usage out of it by applying that speed to all of your teammates rather than just yourself. Baron there would have been a risky play. I, I think it was actually doable because you guys shred it, but it's also okay not to get it. Um, do you have a control ward on the map? I don't. Okay, let's just drop one right here I on the side of the bush. Hurt. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he can drop it. And let's just get a recall here, because we don't have wards. Warkaiser is on Baron right now, right? He's clearing a ward. Yeah, he's just clearing it. Yeah, sometimes, as a support, you won't have a whole lot of gold. And that's okay. We just want to recall for wards. Got it. Don't forget about the gates. You have the gates to get back. Shut down. Okay, let's just Your, chat, your chat's kind of blowing up. What is they saying? He is good. What? Me? Oh. <laughs> Me? Focus on the game. Come on, no ego. Sorry, 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 uh, this sorry, is sorry. tough because your you know, your two damage dealers are dead right now. Just get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Hopefully that just doesn't allow them to do Baron. He's dead. I'm not. Yeah, he's dead. Good call. Good call. There are none. Just a few. Hey, Jinx Jinx has the gates to get back here. You guys just have to try to contest this Baron 2v. Uh, 2v4. Just ping it. Let him know. He's got to get here. You guys don't want to give this. He's just not coming, though. He had the gates to get here. Do it. Yeah! What? Huge. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, let's use this Baron. Um, I think mid bot focus sh should be the focus here because the dragon is the next uh, objective up on the map. Be careful right now while the map is dark because we don't want to get picked. But ideally, we do want to get some vision in their jungle here. If we can, like, push this wave and then walk over with some teammates, get some vision in their jungle, that could be nice. That'll give us vision for a potential engage from them, but also deny vision so that we can potentially flake them. I don't... Why are we recalling here, though? We have Baron. We should be pushing. Oh, you have Ignite here. Close. Okay, yeah, you guys just need to group. You guys need to group. You have Baron, you just need to siege, but GP gets caught. Belveth gets caught. Oh my god. You guys have top. such a good uh, team fighting comp with uh, with Jinx. Stay Z. with me. Just that you need to actually group and keep them alive and you'll be good. If this is good, at least you're with her. 
Feel mode, feel mode. Mm -hmm. Good. Good Their bot lane could be in the area, so careful. Jolty's up That's in 10. And Talon's with her. Ulti in 5. John. Hi, back. Yeah, we stayed in that fight a little too long, right? Because we used both of our E, so we didn't have a way out. So keep that in mind. Control right here. Beautiful. You're already on it. Okay, we didn't have the best usage of Baron so far, so let's let's try to push a little bit here. Also, try to... Uh, I like it. I like it. Play with the team. Look to see if you can go back in here. You don't need to use your flash here. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's worth it. It's all good. I don't care. I, I think you guys would have just chased him down eventually because I didn't see any way for him to get out, but it's all good. All right. Good engage, by the way. I really liked how you saw Varus caught out and you just pulled the trigger immediately because you knew that you could. Um, the one thing I was saying, though, before that fight started, I wanted to stop talking so I wasn't distracting you. Your wards, you're often, like, dropping them and then moving forward past them. So, like, the the goal there was to eventually siege, right? So we want our wards to be where we are going to be. So if we're looking to siege, we yeah. want our, our wards in that area. You're like, all these wards that you dropped in your own jungle, you're just dropping them and, and then walking past them. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to get to the destination and have the area open. Yes, I exactly. See. We don't. We, our vision behind us isn't going to do us any good. Like this, the I'm words that you have right now. This is like shallow vision, which is something we would do if we're like behind in the game. But right now, we're like trying to play aggressive, so we want aggressive wards deep in their jungle potentially. Be careful right here though, because the map is very dark. That's good. Just I see. I see Talon right there. Yep. Um, and then now, I, I guess Vision should start moving topside a little bit because this Baron's going to be up in two minutes. Let's go babysit your Jinx for a second, though, because she's by herself. Unless she recalls. That's fine, too. Okay. This guy just loves being by himself. How close to that Zeke's are you? Is, is it 700 gold or is it 900? Yeah, it's 700. 700. Okay, so let's just drop all of our wards off because we're going to recall anyways. So literally just drop them all around here. It doesn't matter how good or bad they are, because we're going to recall and get new ones anyways. Try to get into a habit of doing that. And ideally, you drop your wards, and they might come and clear your vision, and that's okay, because now you have more vision, and you'll reclaim the, the, the vision yourself, right? Yeah, your Jinx just loves playing on the edge. She loves yeah, she loves being alone. Uh, GP might just be dead here. He's up against Hecrum. He's got to wait for what? you guys to Shield push. Bow, dog. I'm gonna burn this place yeah, let's just push top, I guess. Heck, or, uh, Azir's got to push mid. You guys push top. Does GP have TP? No. He has Ignite. Okay. Uh, we got to be careful here. This is 4v5 on the map. We don't need to fight at all. There's nothing to fight over here. Absolutely nothing to fight over. Baron is not up, and it's 4v5. Of course they want to fight, we just have to not give them that fight. Okay, play to keep Jinx alive here. Yeah, let's go. This is losing. This is losing. Careful going back in. Yeah, I'm not going back Let's in. Let's just recall here. Let's just recall here. Oh. Alright, I'll listen to you. Oh. Kill him. Okay. Uh, we I just didn't, didn't, didn't want to fight there, and, and I'm not blaming you for that, but like we understand why we don't want to fight, right? There's Night nothing smell? to fight over. Um, no, I, I think um, I think Redemption. Actually, look at their team again real quick. We could actually just get uh, Morello this game, I think. Or uh, Chemtech, rather, because we want the, the healing reduction for the Hecrum and for uh, the Nami as well. 
There's a lot of items that work on Rakan. I think Redemption also works here. Does he really think he can 1v2? I think he's not very strong right now. Okay, gotta watch out for them doing Baron now, because your jungler's dead for 50 seconds. Um, can we run to Baron here? Oh, 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 something's happening. There's... Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. I just wanted, like, shallow vision around Baron so we could see. Okay, no, th this is good. We can look, we can look. Beautiful, good job, good job. Azir knew something that apparently we didn't. I want soul. I want soul. I want soul. Magic is supposed to uh, just be careful. Let's let's get some shallow vision here. Hecarim can one-shot you, though. Let's hit that sweeper if you can. Yeah, are they on Baron? They could just be on Baron, to be honest. Take it. They are on, Take yeah. it. I want it. I'm... So th that's that's what I was saying, though, um, before that fight broke out. But I just wanted, like, shallow vision. So that literally just, like, a ward on Baron could have been nice there. Um, we get this? You should. Yeah, should. And we also want a fight. It, it's 3v5. Even if we don't get soul, we want a fight. Okay, so here we should get the um, the Grievous Wounds, right? So we'll have that. You can also grab a control ward here. And we can fight if it presents ourselves. But just know you have soul, so you are stronger the rest of the game no matter what. They have Baron, so they are only stronger for the next few minutes. So if you wait out the Baron, their advantage is gone, and your advantage still stays there. Yeah, let's just babysit the Jakes for the next couple minutes while their Baron runs out. Shallow Vision here is good. I like it. Uh, yeah, you can try to help with this. Uh, you can try to help with the... Oh, yeah, you can help with... The... Did you know that they were there? I actually didn't even know they were there. Yes. Oh, I didn't even know. So I just had it in inkling. Right, peel I'm mode, peel mode, peel mode. Don't need to fight here. If it presents itself, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's only the Nami that's dead. They still have a lot of damage. Good peel, good peel. Play with the team here. N now you have a man advantage. Good stuff. Got a recall. Uh, you know what, here, in situations like this, like, we're 34 minutes into a game, a fairy charm is not going to do much for us, so I'd rather just even get control wards there. Am I selling it? No, 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 it's it's fine, just, just for future reference. We have to ask ourselves, like, okay, if this game is going to come down to one more fight, what's going to make the difference? Is it going to be, like, uh, a little bit of extra mana regen, or is it going to be denying the enemy team vision? More times than not, it's going to be denying the enemy team vision. Okay, now Baron should be gone for them, so we should be looking for something. They think they can catch me. And I know I, I see that your flash is up. Just know if a fight starts, you don't have to use it immediately. Okay, play smart. Okay, Velveth is dead again. Uh, let's turtle here. Let, let's play to save the base. I got feared. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Oh. That is a heartbreaker. Uh, I will just, I will say though, you played really, really well this game. Your top laner went one and 12, your jungler went four and 12. That, that just happens. It doesn't matter how good or bad you played at that point. It's really, really hard to win games. So don't be discouraged about this loss. You, you actually had a really, really good game.